Hi everyone! Welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. We are so glad you are joining us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are coming to you today from El Paso. Yay, we're back home. Oh, we are back <laughs> home. It was hard to leave. It was. It um, was hard leaving. But, um, but it's always good to be home again yeah. too. Yeah. So, um, it's hard to leave, but then once I get back home, I'm really glad to be here. Kind so. of once you get your mind set and yeah. everything packed in the car yeah. Ugh, what a job um we traveled on monday mm -hmm. we did we did a, a marathon travel day yeah, we, we did it all in one day, one day. Mm -hmm. um but it was nice to be back and yeah. just to sleep in our own beds and and then just get up the next morning and be able to start fresh yeah um we had uh, a few appointments mm -hmm. this week. Marlene had a, a, a doctor's appointment. Um, well, eye appointments. Both, I, of them were eye I, appointments. By, both of them eye appointments. One yes. with the the surgeon, right, mm -hmm. that did the cataract, cataract surgery, yes. and then just an eye appointment for a new prescription for glasses. So yes. we've been working with that. Um, we got our houses kind of put back together yes. again. We have a little more cleaning to do. Yeah. I need to. Yeah, I need to do a little more cleaning. And, uh -huh. That kind of but, stuff. But we got the important part done of changing our decorations. Yes, the fun part. We yes. put up our August yes. decorations. So Marlene, do you have something for show and tell? Something yes. you put up for August? Yes. This is one of the things I put out in August. Oh, your little bow is... Is that how it's supposed to be? No, it's flopping around. Okay, well, that, yeah, that's not right. It's supposed to be sitting up here on the top. I'm, I'm gonna have to get out the I'm glue. Borrowing Carlene's because we didn't think to bring my stuff, so I'm borrowing Carlene's. So but, but she this has is, this exact yes, same but this one. is one of the things I have in my house. It's called Under the Sea. It was uh, one of Faithworks designs and it was done as a little trifold. So you can really see. cute little what did you use for this? The cording? Regular floss? No, jute. I, oh, jute? No, no, it was regular, oh, it floss. Was regular floss. Yes, but this, it looks just like jute, huh? Yes, like, it does. It looks seaside so beachy. Okay, that's really bugging me. I have to get that fixed. Anyway, so yes, yes that's so that the seaside gonna, trio. This one has a little cute bubbles on it. This was, yes, you can see the little, um, they were beads uh -huh. that got so stitched cute. on here. And then, um, looks like I have a saggy bead too. My goodness. And probably and in, in the, the storage tub, yes. maybe. I don't know. Anyway, and then really cute little fish buttons. Yes, very cute. Um, that this was very was cute. A very fun little quick design. Yes, it was. It was fun. Too. I am also doing a Faithworks design um, that I have on display. It, it was a mini easel. So this actually sits on one of the little tiny petite easels. And then it had a little companion piece. And it says, um, the, the beach is calling. And so that got done on a spool with a little shell. So these sit right That's together. So um, I put that on display for this month. And then I have another one on display. This is another Faithworks design. It's part of her door hanger series. Sure. This one too. Such cute. Now, was this stitching done or did you have to stitch that? I don't remember. I think that was done. Yes. You know what I can see it is. Yeah. This was this was already woven mm -hmm. in, but she had really cute buttons. Um the lighthouse yeah. and um that really was stitched. Cute. A sand dollar, a star, starfish, a little dolphin, some little dolphins um, jumping out of the water. And then these, when I finished it, these shells just got glued on around in, on you know, corners. wherever we wanted, yeah, uh -huh. just to give it that 3D effect and then yeah. the twisted cord. And then the backing is just adorable with the, yeah. Perfect fabric for yes. the back. Mm -hmm. So really need, pretty. So that's something else I have on display in my house for August. And then Marlene has been showing that she's working on these, the little um, seaside trio. Mine are finished, so mine are being displayed now in August. So that's one. I'm hoping to get mine done this week. And then this one is done with just the little waves. 
See the pretty yeah. color of blue yeah. though on the yeah. spools? It's I really, really love that. Yeah. And then so this was postcards looking. from the sea. That's the one I'm so, doing now. So yes, this is the only one you have left to yeah. finish, right? And mm -hmm. then I'm going to get it for mm -hmm. finishing. So those were the postcards mm -hmm. from the sea that just got glued on. So they were really quick finishes, but this really was a FaithWorks design as well. So really all FaithWorks designs on display. Yes, on display in <laughs> August. We have other stuff too, yeah, but we do. it just so happens. Those are the ones we're showing. Um, okay, what about stitching accomplishments this oh. week? Ooh, quilted bees. Quilted bees. I was working on this one. Remember, this is a long dog this, sampler. This is the one I didn't want to stop working on, but I did and make myself stop. We, we are stitching so. this on light sand. Yes, 32 count 32 light sand. 32 count light sand with anchor floss. Yes. Um, if you were not here with us earlier when we talked about this, this, this was an inspiration because of the 1930s quilts. Marlene, do you want to point out your how you changed the pattern a little bit with your blue daisy? Oh, yeah, I did the background um, blue, and then I did the centers in the yellow instead of the blue like it looked like it should have been. And then I also added in, there were some little dots of color, so I added those in in green to make it look like the leaves so on the daisy. So you see the little green. So she left the flower itself white, uh -huh. but then instead of doing all the rest of the stitches in one color, she changed it up so that it looks more like a print fabric okay. because that's sort of the look uh -huh. for that 1930s. And then of course in this block, that's gonna be where my first B goes in here. Yes, this one. So you've got that one completely yeah. outlined. Outlined, yeah, and I did the top rows and the bottom rows and then I'll go in and fill in. Because the, the little B is gonna okay. start right yeah. up here where yeah, you're right last, up there. Uh -huh. so it'll start right here. Uh -huh. So. But you like to do that. You yeah. fill in the background. Yeah. Whereas I stitched my B because it drives me crazy to count and skip over. Yeah, no. So I don't. I, well, I go up one side. I don't skip over. I go up one side and then. I'm That's what I'm going to do when I come to fill it in. And you can do that when you're not using an over dyed yeah. gloss, when yeah. you're just using mm -hmm. a cotton. I had a finish. It's not fully finished yet, but this was a FaithWorks design. Um, she did a mini easel series. And this one was um, grateful, thankful, blessed. And it has a really cute little resin figurine that goes oh, so with that's it. like the other one you showed. Yes, on, on, on the mini uh -huh. easel. That was, so this was another one of, from This that was series. for November. No, oh, mm -hmm. A mini easel series. Very and you know, cute. I don't know um, what she might still have available with these. Sometimes these are things that come out in her vintage trunk show. Mm -hmm. And I do link that in the description. Um, so if you're interested, you can check. You can always check with her. Sometimes she doesn't, might not have the resin figure, but you might have something right. that you could use. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but she That's can certainly outfit. get you the kit and the pattern and that kind of thing. Yeah. So something to kind of keep in mind. Yes. What else did you work on, Marlene? Oh, and then I got to work on um, my lighthouse garden. That's a Lizard Tur so. Liz Turner deal design. And, and this came with fabric and thread. and thread mm -hmm. and so that's how much i got done just the first quarter is kind of what i got done i'm still working on the water i still have up more here. to put in in the water and then there's some clouds up in the sky they're half stitches yes and then i'm going to finish the border i have the blue part done that's right and there's going to be and a then little of bit course, more back stitching in that that area and then i'll move on to the next quarter i like to get when Page done before I need to. Rest. I worked on that one too. I know Remember, you have so much done. Yes. This, are you all done now, except for a little um, more back stitching? I have a little more back stitching on the house. You can see that the windows are not oh, back yes. stitched, uh -huh. and then there's a back stitch line that goes across the mountains, and I haven't uh -huh. put any of the half stitches in yet for oh, the clouds. You didn't back stitch the mountains yet? Not yet. Oh, mm -hmm. I didn't. I, know I was going to, but I haven't yet. So, oh, and, um, and what did you, what do you think? Do you think my mountains, I've used the wrong color on the mountains. Let's compare. How do your mountains look compared to mine? Oh, they're just a little darker. Move yours over a little bit more. Let me move mine to the side. 
there's hardly any difference. So you think I can just leave? Yes, it? they just look closer. It's like they it look looks like it's farther away. They look closer because okay. they're darker. Mine are. Oh, okay. That's my cat yowling. I don't know what she's throwing a tantrum about, but she's tantruming. Okay, so about. I think I can leave it. Then. Yes, I definitely think you can leave it. Okay, it's good. definitely not worth pulling it out. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and then what else did you oh, work on? And then um, now I've been working on Home Sweet Home. So I worked on the Victorian house. Up here in oh, the, up here in the corner. Yes, uh -huh. I love that blue. Yeah, I do too. So it's pretty. Blue Jay. Is it Weeks really Dye Works? I think. Yeah, Weeks Dye Works. Weeks Dye, Dye Works. Yeah, because um, all of the, the colors, they're either Anchor DMC mm -hmm. or Weeks Dye Works. Yes. And then she used some Krynic yes. Brady in here. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is a home, the Home Sweet Home design is Faith Works design. And it's, and it's the series in yeah. the Just Cross yeah, Stitch I'll show you the this picture. year. So let Marlene show you that this picture. The picture of what she's released so far. So in the next two should be coming out. Yes, we soon. should be getting the magazine mm -hmm. for the, these two. Yeah. Yeah. So. I worked on my nativity. And uh, last week when I showed it to you, I had just the donkey. Done. Well, I had oh, Mary yeah. and Joseph and the streamers mm -hmm. done. But and, I, the pillar. and the pillars. You know, and the pillars are done. Mm -hmm. And then I had the donkey done. So I got the shepherd started and the Ooh, straw yeah, under, yeah, the and the straw underneath the donkey. Mm -hmm. So I, I got that much done. So that is coming along nicely. Mm -hmm. And then I also worked on Home Sweet Home. Minnie is making an appearance. There she is in back of us. Oh, now I see just her tail. Oh, hi, you're saying hi? <laughs> yes, this is my little mini cat. She's a squawker, she likes to talk. Don't you, Minnie? Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> I know, we hear you. And then I got to work on Home Sweet Home also. So I got the two boxes mm, stitched. I know, but I was showing the oh, two okay. boxes. I got the, the next two boxes underneath the casita done. And then now I'm working on the A-frame. Oh, and that's, yes, okay. and I'm just back stitching. I have a little bit of back stitching and then I'll be starting the next house underneath. Oh, that's good. And what is yes. the next house? Um, Craftsman Cottage. Oh, what does it look like? It is very hot in here. The air conditioner is not working oh, is at that my house. Oh, it's this one. This one, one. Oh, yes. That's cute. This That'll one. Be cute. It'll be. It's this one that I need to work mm -hmm. on next. Yeah, it's really cute. Mm -hmm. It's a cute yeah, little house. It is. So that will be the next thing. Now, one of the things that Marlene and I notice when we look at oh things people stitch and comments that they make, one of the things they talk about is like the there's certain stitches they don't know how to do or that they're not going to do. They're going to use something else. Yeah. A common one is the colonial or French knot and they use beads, which beads are great. Mm -hmm. um, but the colonial, the colonial knots and those decorative stitches really add so much dimension yeah. to your projects yeah. mm -hmm. that it's nice to be able and to use them. And they just give it a different texture. A completely so different texture. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is just do a couple of quick tutorials and Marlene is going to demonstrate the colonial knot which goes here on this one as well as the faux bouillon which was used for the little red chilies. She's going to demonstrate the reverse mosaic stitch which was used here in the grass mm -hmm. and the Smyrna cross which is up here in the colonial um, the grass Victoria. and the colonial Victoria. for the Victorian house, the Victorian house. So um, we're going to do that right now and just do quick little demonstrations on how to do those stitches. So the first stitch I'm going to demonstrate is the colonial knot. Okay, so I've already brought my uh, thread up from the back of my fabric and I've made um, a backward C. So you're gonna lay your needle on the C on the top of the thread, and then you're going to weave your needle under the thread and then bring your, your um, thread around the needle and back under to kind of form a figure eight. And then you're gonna bring your 
knot all the way down to the bottom of your needle and put your needle in the hole. You can either do it in the same hole or in the hole next to it. I always do mine in the same hole. So that's how I do too, but I know some people do it in the hole next to it. Notice you how keep, Marlene is really pulling yes, on Yes, you that. keep that thread really, really tight, and then you pull slowly through. Pull your thread slowly through, let go, and there you have your very nice little tiny colonial knot. knot. Now, yes. Marlene, what happens if you want like a larger knot? What do you have to do? Oh, usually, um, do you just do you wrap more times or you do more well, strands? I think you have to use more strands of thread to make a bigger, a bigger knot. But let me do it one more time and see if. Um, so and she's it, just bringing her needle yes, up in bring any my, hole. Yes. She's just going to demonstrate again. Yes. So you bring your, your thread up from the back of the fabric. Make your backward C. Lay your needle on top <laughs> of the C. When your thread cooperates, it's always nice. And put, weave your thread or your needle under the thread. Then... Take your thread, wrap it around and under your needle. And, and see how then, she's pulled it quite yes, tight and around then pull the needle. It quite tight. Go back down in your hole and bring your knot down onto your fabric. Hold that thread, that working thread, nice and tight. Pull your needle slowly through. And there you have your second knot. So very nice. Okay. But yes, in, in order to make bigger knots, I, I think you would have to use more threads because you always do that figure eight so you don't ever do more figure eights. Right, right. So, so you I would just, yeah. you would just use more strands of floss I if think, you want a bigger Yeah, or thicker, knot. maybe. Or a thicker thread. Or a thicker thread, floss. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, Excellent. to make smaller ones, you would just use one strand. I was using two strands on these. Okay. So. Good. Okay. The second stitch that Marlene's going to demonstrate is the faux bullion knot. This is used on um, oh, the Decorative. Home Sweet yeah. Home. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, the Spanish, the little Spanish casita. casita. To make the chili to make peppers, the red right? Chili peppers. Yeah. This stitch is good for um, anything that you want it to look really full, like um, curly hair, um, a beard, and um, and so Marlene's going to demonstrate. She is actually starting with the loop method because the first thing you do on a faux bullion knot is just to make a straight stitch in the area that you want to fill. So she's just gone, she's making a diagonal stitch, um, using starting her thread with the loop method. You go up, right? In, oh, I'm sorry. And so she's taking mm -hmm. her, she's just making the straight stitch She's going over just a few threads, as you can see. Now, the next thing that she's gonna do is bring her needle up in the same spot where she started that first stitch. So now her thread is back on the front of the project. The second step is filling in your bullion, your full bullion knot. And so see how she slid her needle under the thread, but she has not pierced the fabric. So now she's going to pull it through and she's going to continue to do that until she's got that straight stitch completely wrapped with her floss. So she's just going to keep doing that. You kind of use your needle or your thread and just pull it up. You want to pack them quite tightly. So using your needle and then also the thread and just pulling towards the top of the stitch will help you keep them um, really compacted around this straight stitch. So she's gonna continue Sorry. to do this. 
giving the thread a little tug, maybe using her needle and kind of pushing them up towards the top. See how she just used her thread and pulled it up a little bit. She's gonna go under again. This is really gonna be your personal preference as to how full you like them. I like mine to be pretty full. And I did notice that the fuller I got them, they tended to have more of a little bit of a curve um, to them. So I would do a couple more, Marlene. So depending on the look that you're getting, that's why decorative stitches are so nice because they really give your project dimension. She's gonna go one more time under. Do you see how tightly she's got those stitches packed around that thread? Should I do one more? Yeah, maybe one more still. So you can see a little bit of empty thread mm -hmm. down there at the bottom. And then to end this stitch, all she's going to do is go down in that same hole where her straight stitch ended and take her thread to the back. And that is a full bullion knot. Very simple, very easy, but it gives a lot of dimension to your project. And again, it can fill any space. You just make your stitches as long as you need them to fill the space or the area that you're trying to, um, to fill on your piece. It's really a quite easy stitch. It's it fun. is. It's fun and it does add a lot of dimension. Mm -hmm. The third decorative stitch that Marlene's going to demonstrate is the reverse mosaic stitch. And she's actually already done a couple of stitches. Um, this first little one that she did would actually be considered a scotch stitch. The scotch stitch is when you bring your thread up in every hole. We're doing a reverse mosaic stitch. Um, and so you, you do, when you're stitching on linen, you stitch in every other hole. And so Marlene's already got her thread started. She, again, you can use the loop method to start this. So Marlene, do you wanna talk us through yes, this? Yes, so I'm going to make, uh, they're just basically straight stitches that you're making. You're going over two, th right now I'm going over two threads and you're doing it um, diagonal and you're gonna meet, you're gonna go down in the same hole that that top stitch. Well, because you're doing and, the loop method yes. and then sharing a hole because mm -hmm. she's going yes. below. Mm -hmm. So that the arms share a hole. All right. Okay. And then you're gonna go down two threads And this time I'm going to go over four threads. And again, she's going to share a and hole. And I'm going to share a hole with that first stitch that I completed. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to do one more stitch. So it's three stitches that completes the reverse mosaic stitch. Marlene is still adjusting to her after having cataract surgery. So she's really having to be cautious. And then I'm going to only go over two threads this time again. Okay. So you, you can see stitch. how the reverse mosaic, like up above here, those stitches were going one direction and then down below now they're going the opposite direction. Um, so now, Marlene, when you're doing the next one, what would you do? Okay, then you, when, to do the next one, you, you move over two threads from the point of this one and then down two threads. So you're at the bottom of your square or your section. You're going to come so up. So it's over two threads and down mm -hmm. two threads from where you just finished right. your last scotch stitch. Uh -huh your last one, and then you're going to share the hole with this stitch. And then you're ready to do your 
long, long stitch. Middle stitch. So you're going to move over two threads and then you're going to share a hole with all these other long stitches that you've already made. And then you're going to do your last stitch. And share this hole with this one. So you see how your reverse mosaic then makes a really pretty pattern. Uh -huh. So the it difference will, between... Will, when you finish this, it will actually kind of make a diamond in the in middle. In the middle. And so the difference between your reverse mosaic and an alternating scotch stitch is that the reverse mosaic stitch is going in when you're stitching on linen in every other hole, whereas a scotch stitch goes in every hole. So it's a much more compact decorative stitch. Yes. Whereas the the mosaic is has a, a little more bit open, more open stitch. Yeah, more open space. Very pretty. It. They're both gorgeous. Okay. All right, and before we start this last stitch, uh, I don't think we mentioned at the start that for all of these decorative stitches, we are using a 20 count fabric and two strands of anchor floss. We use the 20 count fabric just so that it would be a little bit larger and easier for you to see exactly what Marlene was doing with her needle. So here we are with the last stitch. Yes, so I'm gonna demonstrate the Smyrna cross. And I've already done a little one. Um, and this one is just over um, two threads. So, and to make the Smyrna cross, I'm just going to kind of talk you through the steps and then I'll demonstrate it a larger version, okay? But you basically just start with your um, basic cross stitch to begin with. So you just make the cross stitch like you normally would, and then you're going to add a plus on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that and talk a little bit about um, that plus a little bit more. So I'm going to do my basic cross stitch to begin with. She's making this one large, so she's going over four yes, threads. Yes, I'm going over four threads. So this is her basic cross stitch. My hands are a little shaky today. Okay, and now I'm gonna start the plus part. So I'm gonna come up two threads away from that corner stitch, right in the middle. So you're gonna cross that X right in the middle. So I'm gonna just make a straight stitch and go down. Now, does it right matter here. whether you start with the vertical stitch? It does not the... matter as long as you are consistent. Okay, so Marlene okay. always starts with the vertical mm -hmm. stitch and then does the horizontal right. line for her plus. And then I'm gonna do the horizontal line next. Is that down two threads? I can't see your needle, yes, that's right. And, is still adjusting. And then I'm going to do, go down and finish my horizontal stitch. Is that right? And so, yeah. So there's, so there's the, the Smyrna, Smyrna. cross. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And it does add a lot of dimension mm, to your projects. It does. Mm -hmm. Okay, very pretty. Yes. So those are our tutorials for our decorative stitches this week. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, we are definitely not professionals. No. And so I know like when we film, then it's like Marlene moves and then yeah. I'm trying to follow her. And, <laughs> yes, but hard. at least I'm hoping you get an idea that these are not hard. Mm -hmm. um, it's only thread. If you don't like it, you cut it out and try again. Yes, I mean, you know, right. you're not going to ruin anything. No. And so, um, the only but, thing you have to be scared of is if you have to cut, then that's really scary. <laughs> but if you're not cutting, you can always take it out and fix it. And fix it, <laughs> always. So, um, we are kind of getting ready for August and making some plans for what we're going to be working on this coming month. Um, I have some things that I need to finish still for July, but looking ahead for August planning, mm -hmm. um, 
One of the things that Marlene and I, we'll be, we've been doing since March Madness, we've had like a monthly challenge group. Yeah. It's a small little group um, and it's a Facebook like event. Mm -hmm. I created as a Facebook event. Um, if anybody wants to join, please let us know. This month we're going to do a challenge that's called Long Days of Summer. And the idea behind it was that you were gonna work on some of those large projects um, that you either haven't gotten to stitch on or that you just are really into like Marlene with her quilted bees, that's just what she wants to work on. And so we, it's those big kinds of projects. Even, even the sows. Or you your sows, catch up on your sows. Yes. So you can make it work for mm -hmm. you however you want. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do, I'm going to put it up as an event on Facebook, but we're also going to have a hashtag on, um, on Instagram. Marley and I are just barely learning Instagram. Yeah, we yeah. are very bad at it. Yeah, um, but we're trying to get our little Instagram accounts going. But if the, we're going to have a hashtag for this one. It's going to be hashtag X stitch, X stitch, right? right. Mm -hmm. Long days of summer. So that will be the hashtag. I'll all, put it in the link. All, all one, one word, word no all lowercase. Lower yeah, all, all lowercase, lower no capital. So, um, Marlene, what are you planning to use kind of as a focus for your long days of okay, summer? Okay, well, I actually have four. Oh, um, my. Try, yeah, so are you going to, like, try to work on one each week, or yeah, are you well, just going to work on work, it as your yeah, mood for strikes? Yeah, days and then put it away and work on the next one, and then maybe get it back out later in the month. I don't know how it's going to work. Because I'm also going to start my tutoring schedule again. That's right. So You're working yes, on that. I'm getting so. everything set up, and my parents all contacted and. So I'm working on getting everything all scheduled, all my schedules. At online. least you do that all virtually. So as yeah. soon as you you log off, you can dash back yes. to the couch yes. to work on your yes. cross stitch. Yes, that's what I did. <laughs> so anyway, but one of them that I want to work on is Poison Garden. This is a Shadow Lane. Yes, Shadow Lane. And then I haven't showed this for a while. I haven't worked on it since March Madness. So that's one of the reasons why I'm going to bring it out now. Um, so anyway, this is what I have done on it. It's We're big, doing this on graceful gray, graceful gray, graceful gray, 32, 32 count. count. Uh -huh. so and so you're just up here. You're getting yes. ready to put in the rice stitches. Rice stitches yes, but I'm right. going to finish the boxes on all four of the corners. On all four corners. Yeah. And then rice stitches fill yeah. in each of these each corners. Of the and then I have to do the, the satin stitches up here. This oh yes point. this point right here uh -huh. is all a satin stitch yeah. okay all right very that's so, a good one to work on yeah, now that's so what I pretty too. and i like i said i haven't worked on it since march madness well, so. i'm going to be okay. working on a shadowing too i showed this one not too long ago um i'm going to work on my hawaii um so i'm working pretty. on the volcanoes i have the second one almost finished so I would like to get that finished and then work on this. I have I have the flowers done on one side. So I would like to get the flowers done here and this scene. Um, and then I could work on that because then I'd That's have pretty. this top fourth done. Oh um, yeah, that would be good. And what's the scene that you're gonna work on first? It's then? a waterfall. Oh, okay, I, I can It's, see yes, uh, well, it's very hard to see. But it's like a rainforest no, scene with me. a waterfall coming down. It wasn't the um, way you were showing it. it was no, <laughs> no, it, it it's hard to tell what it is. Yeah, so in that picture. In that picture, I not, yeah, it'll, it's not the actual stitched piece. I think they do some. No, I think this was a stitched piece, but it's just the lighting and stuff. It yeah, just doesn't show yeah. up as good. So. And then what else are you going to work on? Um, and then I'm going to also work on well on quilted bees some more I'm gonna that's on my list too and hopefully get the bug done the yes bee, the bee. I want to work on mine I want to get the patch done that you have already done oh, yeah. finish this one and I'd like to get well oh have is it, it oh am I, am I upside no, down no no you're no, not no. I, these oh, are the next two these two, these two. yes they're this, the same yeah yeah and I still have to decide whether I'm gonna fill in the background I want something. I want to fill my background in, I but I'm gonna wait too, a while I don't that. know what I'm gonna do so, so quilted bees for both of us and then I'm gonna yes. do changing seasons because I'm so far behind on this 
So I'm going to try to work on that for long days of summer. Oh, yeah. Like changing seasons. Because all I have done is the center box. Yeah, That's I, it. I should work on them too. But it's just been. pitiful. And then I'm going to work on Autumn Hydrangea Fog. Another That's shadow. That's another one that I... I just showed you last week because I worked on it. Yeah, you were working on the center yes. center garden right in here yes, with I was the doing green stitches. Bunch, yeah, that one's so pretty. So. I just love the muted colors. Yes. And, then, and then Home Sweet Home. And then Home Sweet Home. Keep working yes. on that. Yes. Okay. So. And then Marlene and I were talking and we just feel like we don't get any stitching done on our smalls. Um, so we are going to try to do like an hour, maybe an hour and a half a day on um, on a small project. So like just pull out a small project, work on it for an hour, put it away and go on to mm -hmm. one of our big, exciting, mm -hmm. fun ones. Mm -hmm. um, well, but I hope the smalls not, aren't fun and exciting, but, but they're they just not. always <laughs> get pushed to the back because they're not you have fun big ones. <laughs> they're not as fun and exciting mm -hmm. as the little, as the big ones. Um, so we've each kind of chosen two that we're going to start with, but I'm going to work on one until I get it finished yeah, yeah, and then I'll work on the second one. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, so I can actually get something finished and crossed off so, my list. So the first one I'm going to work on is the, um, smalls that go with a patriotic shadow box. And you have this stitch yes, piece I have done. The, little the one so that goes inside the box. So you're just doing pins and needles. And, and the, the little flag, mm -hmm. the little the flag fob. scissor fob. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so you don't have much left. No. I'm going to work on this one. This was a little house needleworks design. That so um, Louise and Henry. It's not really a small project. It's a lot. It's pretty, uh, there's Solid. a large number of yeah. stitches. But I have this much done. So really? I just really want to work on it and get it finished. Um, yeah, have, so... You're very close to done. Well, yes, but that checkerboard on the bottom oh, yeah, the checkerboard. is going to take, take a, a long time. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, that's going to be the first one that I work on until I finish. What else are and you going to do? And my second one is going to be the spools. The oh, you're spools. so cl close. You yeah. just have only this yeah, one left. Just that one left. So yeah, that's a good so one. That's one. Those are the two I'm going to concentrate on. I'm going right to now. work on a Rosewood Manor Cats on a Pumpkin that cute. because this one too I'm close to finished with. I I have I love that color fabric. Too. All of the inside done except for the very top. And then um, there's a border and the Happy Halloween here. So this will be the second one that I'm going to pull out and That'll work on um, for my smalls to try to get some things accomplished. That will be fun. Um, and then I have three projects that I'm getting really close to being finished with. So I am hoping that I can work on them and finish them this during the month of August. So one of them is from Sea to Shining Sea. This is also a little house. Um, I have all of this done. I'm working on this last one. I have almost all of the border done across the top and I have the border almost done across the bottom. I think I have just the word C left. Um, so I'm really close to being mm -hmm. finished. Um, so I want to get that done. Uh, I also have Anniversaries of the Heart, which was a Blackbirds design. Yes. It was actually a series of Blackbirds. Um, Blackbird design. Blackbird designs. Um, it called Anniversaries of the Heart. But I am working on this Remember Me. I have everything done except for filling in a little bit of red on the house and to put the wording in, whatever I decide to put mm -hmm. as the wording. And then there was a bonus project and this actually is the last two squares. Um, and I've started oh, okay. on the border. So, um, oh, I, so you I still have to do that. I still have this left mm -hmm. to do. And then, and then that one will be finished. So I'm hoping to get that done and Lighthouse Garden because I have oh, yeah. really just only just the, the border. outer border yeah. left. Yeah. So I would like to get those things done. So I don't know how I'm going to fit all of this in. Along with your other stitching challenge. I, well, I'm hoping that because I have so some, many different yeah, that things work it in. that some of these will work in because they haven't put up on yeah. my Magical Stitches challenges no. yet for August. They're so late doing that. I'm looking forward to next year because Magical Stitches, they said 
that the way they're gonna do it next year is gonna be very relaxed, which it has been this mm -hmm. year. Um, we set our own goals and, you know, so that's been really nice. But they're going to put uh, the whole challenge, all of the challenges for the whole year up. Oh. Starting so that in January, we can kind of make a plan and for the year, the year and map out the whole mm -hmm. year. So I'm really excited. Yeah, of course, you have to help me. So. I know. I know. <laughs> she keeps trying to convince me that I should do it too, but I haven't decided yet. You need to do it too. It's very fun. <laughs> We'll see. Okay, anything else this week, Marlene? I don't think so. I don't think we have too much coming up next week. Um, Charlie, my husband, started back to school this week. Uh, just the teachers. Teachers in service. In service. Uh -huh. um, Teacher and, work day today. Uh-huh. And then... Um, and then next week, Monday, the kids come. So that'll be new. Mm -hmm. um, he'll be mm -hmm. getting home later because cross country oh, starts. Yes. So the boys okay. will be coming after school instead of early in the morning mm -hmm. like they've been doing during the summer. Um, so he'll be home a little bit later in the evenings. But other than that, I don't think we have anything else. No, I'm just going to be working on getting some And when are you planning to start your tutoring? Um, I think um, the week of August 8th. Okay, so you have next week yet. Yeah, because I want to... Oh, it is going to be my anniversary, Charlie. Oh, that's right. Charlie's in yes. my anniversary on Monday. I'm yes. getting girl steaks for us. Yes, um, that's so, it. So, yes, it's going to be 24 years. That's good. And, yes, on August the 1st. So, um, I do have that coming up on yeah, Monday. it's going to be fun. Yes, it's going to be fun. <laughs> um, other than that... Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to be planning. Planning, yes. planning, planning, mm -hmm. planning, mm -hmm. planning. But hopefully I can do it in mostly one day. So. Well, you were very organized last year. You got mm -hmm. it done quick. Mm -hmm. So, well, I think on that note, after we've rambled on now, yes. um, <laughs> we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. weekend. Have a good week next week. Um, from us, Sun City Stitchers, remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine. And, and keep, keep on, on stitching. stitching. We'll see you next week. Bye.